Welcome to another video of Tally Tutorial. Today's video is about groups, that is predefined groups in Tally. What is a group in Tally? A groups are collection of ledgers of the same nature. We are handling different types of ledgers in our accounting practice. Sales ledger, purchase ledger, direct expense ledger, indirect expense ledger, different types of ledgers that we need to handle in our accounting process. So what is importance of groups? Tally arrange these ledgers into different groups on the base of their nature. What is the importance of group? So Tally make a hierarchy of arrangement of ledgers through these groups. So groups are arrangement of ledgers on the base of their nature. So we are handling thousands of ledgers, hundreds of ledgers and Tally make these ledgers into different groups on the base of their nature. So what is a ledger? A ledger is defined as a book of final entry containing all the accounts of a business or all accounts of a particular type. We have already learned about that. So ledger is also called the second book of entry. The first book of entry is journal and second book of entry is ledger. So we can say ledgers are separate books of entries. We are separating these journals on the base of their nature into different accounts. That's why ledgers are separate books of entries. Now look to the groups. What are the predefined groups in Tally? Tally has 28 predefined groups. That means Tally arrange all the ledgers into 28 predefined groups. Whatever may be the ledger that you are going to create, that should put into one of the 28 groups. It is going to be part of one of the 28 groups. So Tally has predefined 28 groups. Again Tally divide these 28 groups into two sections. 15 primary groups and 13 subgroups. Get it? 15 primary groups and 13 subgroups. And these 13 subgroups are part of 15 primary groups. That means 13 subgroups are the subgroups of 15 primary groups. That means Overall, there are 15 primary groups are there and 13 subgroups are the subgroups of primary groups. That means 13 subgroups are also the part of 15 primary groups. Get it? Now, these 15 primary groups are divided into two. That is, nine groups are belongs to balance sheet. That means you can see the nine groups in balance sheet. So Tally can identify which groups are belongs to balance sheet, then these nine groups are belongs to balance sheet and remaining six groups belongs to PL account. So nine groups you can see in balance sheet and six, six groups you can see in PL account. Now where we can identify these 28 groups? For that open Tally you can see all the 28 predefined groups. So let's move to Tally. Open Tally software. No company is presently open in Tally. Select a company by clicking this menu under company info. So this is the company that we have created already. Now the company is opened. So to see the predefined groups and subgroups, you select the accounts info menu. This is the first menu under gate of tally. Select then select groups. Now you can see two section groups under single group and multiple groups. Here we move to multiple groups and select display. So select display under multiple groups. Select then you can see a item all groups. All groups. Select that all groups. Now this is the 28 predefined groups in Tally. Here you see 28 predefined groups. In the extreme right side you can see primary groups. How many? 15 primary groups. 
15 primary groups 15 primary groups and remaining 13 subgroups here from 15 to 28 and all the subgroups are the subgroups of primary groups you can see here 16 reserves and surpluses it belongs to capital group capital account group this is the capital account group second one bank overdraft account which is the subgroup of loans liability here you can see loans next take it secured loan again it is a subgroup of loan loan is a primary group main group so this way remaining 13 subgroups are the subgroups of the 15 primary groups clear so these are the 28 predefined groups among them 15 are primary and remaining 13 are subgroups and all the subgroups are the subgroup of the primary groups next thing we need to know about among the 15 primary groups nine groups are belongs to balance sheet nine groups are belongs to balance sheet these are the nine groups capital account loan current liability fixed asset investments current asset branch and division miscellaneous expense asset and suspense account these nine groups belongs to balance sheet that means you can see these accounts in balance sheet remaining out of 15 nine groups belongs to balance sheet remaining six group belongs to PL account that means beginning from here from 10 11 12 sales account purchase account direct income direct expense indirect income indirect expense these six groups belongs to PL account get it so total 28 predefined groups 15 groups are primary groups remaining 13 groups are subgroups and all the subgroups are the secondary groups of the primary groups so overall we have 15 groups are there that are primary and remaining 13 are subgroups of the primary groups and among the 15 primary groups nine groups belongs to balance sheet up to suspense account then remaining six groups belongs to p and account up to indirect expense get it so these are the predefined groups entirely this is a basic foundation of ledger system entirely that is tally arrange all the ledgers into these 28 groups if you are creating a ledger that should be a part of these 28 ledgers whatever may be the ledger that you are creating that should be a part of any of these 28 groups so this is a basic framework of ledger system entirely and this is very very important and this is the backbone of tally ledger system i hope you understand this predefined groups in the next video we are going to create the ledgers and how we can arrange our ledgers within these 28 groups so see you next video thank you